Hey guys, it's Shannon. I have a haul for you today. I am finally starting to feel a little bit better. I still have my cough, but it's not as bad, so hopefully the editing won't be as choppy this time. Um, and as you can hear, I'm finally starting to get my voice back. It's a little, little better than it was before. Um, excuse my hair. It's a really nice day here today, um, and that means that it's also kind of humid, or at least it was humid this morning when I was getting ready. And I live in Ohio, and it is, people always think Florida is humid. It doesn't hold a candle to Ohio, I'm, t I'm telling you. Um, but anyway, so it was humid this morning when I was getting ready, and my hair is having a humid party, and I'm not invited, apparently. So I have no control over it today. <laughs> A few weeks ago, I meant to show you guys this before in my last haul, and I completely forgot about it. Um, for Christmas, I got a gift card for our local mall. And so, a few weeks ago, I went just kind of shopping around, and um, I picked up this skirt. And I meant to show you guys, like I said last time, just a black, it's a high-waisted uh, pencil skirt. It's very, you know, uh, plain for the most part. There is... A slit in the back in the middle um, just your classic professional black skirt and it has a belt on it which um, if you can see here it has you know like a silver like a, a kind of an aged silver chain and then it has this black piece of material woven through it um, and it was only $7.99. I got it on sale. This was at Sears, so go take a look at your Sears. About a week ago, maybe, I went to uh, Target because I needed to pick up a birthday gift. And um, so I was looking around. I haven't been to Target in a really long time. And I haven't really actually used my actual money on anything for myself in a really long time because I've uh, most of the stuff that you guys see me pick up, I get free offers or is sent to me um, through different uh, programs or reviewing opportunities that are given to me. Um, and so I haven't actually bought myself anything in a really long time and so um, I just went to look and see kind of if they had anything new or if there were any specials on. And I also wanted to go get this lipstick. This is one of the uh, Color Sensational lipsticks by Maybelline and it's number 015 born with it and um, I have another one of these lipsticks a different color um, but I actually I think I was originally looking at this color um, but they had all somebody had swatched all of them you know on their hands and that kind of thing and so I'm not gonna buy it if somebody has destroyed it so anyway it's just a, a, a pink and it's kind of a matte color you block my face out so the light will change. Uh, there you go, now you can see it. And, um, you know, just a pretty pale matte pink. Um, some people would refer to this as kind of a nude pink. So this was something that I knew that I wanted, and so I went to kind of look for it. And then while I was there, um, I was looking around, and NYC has these new lipsticks. These are the City duet two-in-one lip colors. The one I purchased is number 421, the Vintage Pinks. Okay, so the deal with these is that it's actually two colors in one. Now this isn't a new concept. Um, lots and lots of, of makeup companies have done two-in-one lip colors for the last, you know, 30, 40 years. But um, it's just fun to see them again, and it's something new if you're young and haven't ever seen it before. It's just kind of fun. But the good thing about it is you've got color options. You've got, you know, a lighter color on one side that if you just want a lighter color, you can you just use that side. You've got a darker color on the other side, so if you need a darker shade, you can just use the other side. Or, you know, you can kind of go straight on or, you know, sort of blend them together if you want to and get a third color. So let me swatch these lipsticks for you. Um, I'll do, so there's the light shade, and there's the dark shade, 
And if I kind of just use the tip, this is actually very soft. So if I kind of use the tip, you see it makes kind of a lighter version of the dark shade with the two of them sort of blended together. So that's NYC the Vintage, Ro uh, vintage Pinks. NYC the Vintage Pinks. And let me swatch the Maybelline for you. And Born With It, this is Born With It, number 015. Then um, I always dig through their clearance tubs, and they had a lot of the Jimmy Kidd products on clearance. Um, and I've never tried Gemma Kid before because to me they're just they're a little bit too pricey. Um, and typically when I go, if I if I know I'm going to be getting something that's high end, you know I'm usually getting like Lorac or something that's at you know Sephora, and so I forget about the lines like Gemma Kid and Pixie and um, Napoleon Purtis and some of those that are at places like at some place like Target because when I go to Target I go there for cheaper things. So I thought it was a good time for me to at least try some of the Jimmy Kid products on my face. I've swatched them a million times but you know it can be different when you wear them. So I picked up this is one of the iStyle Pro Duos and it's number two in Boho and the packaging looks like this. Um, so I got it it was like five dollars for this marked down from eighteen dollars <throat> so I saved a lot of money on it <clears throat> so the palette just looks looks like this and it does have a little bit of kind of like a stamped pattern um, on the shadows now, one thing you'll notice is that the packaging is just clear. There's no mirror in the packaging. There's also no applicator of any sort of ki any of any kind. <laughs> so keep that in mind. And now that gold color is really soft, so you can see just with one swipe, I pretty much wiped off all of the pattern that was on there. The brown color is a little bit harder, so I'm having to go back into it, you know, kind of a few times um, to match the intensity of this gold or tan color. So, anyway, but it's, these are just pretty colors. I'll just swatch them here on my hand so you can see. Um, here is the kind of tannish gold color and then here is the kind of bronzy brown color so um not as much color payoff as what you might expect for you know something that's high end and they're they seem to blend okay but they're they are a little bit what I would consider powdery. Um, so I I don't know if I don't know if this is something that I would pay eighteen dollars for. To be honest with you, uh, it's I'm just not that wowed by it. If I was going to pay eighteen dollars, I would go get the Rock or um, you know one of one of those brands probably. But you know it's nice, and I got it for five dollars. Um, on clearance so if you can find it in the clearance section at your target then I would say it's worth going for it at that price. Next I went to Ulta and of course I had my Ulta coupon you know back to my free money situations. Um, the first thing that I got is the Maybelline New York Cover Stick Concealer and uh, it says covers completely and the I got it in deep beige which it says it's medium too 
and it just looks like this. Here's the thing. I have always preferred stick concealers over all other, all other concealers. And in fact, I used stick concealers religiously when I was a kid and a young adult. That's actually really, for the most part, all I used. And it wasn't until I really got into, I mean, I always liked you know beauty and fashion, but it wasn't really until I started really studying it and selling products and really got into the business that I started trying and experimenting with new kinds. Um, and, you know, I've tried a lot of different kinds, a lot of different brands and different consistencies. And ultimately, the end result for me is that stick concealers are still the best. Um, they're, they're generally heavier coverage. They're generally designed to cover things up. And um, I, if I didn't do this for a living, if I wasn't involved in the business and if I wasn't comparing products all the time, um, I would never use anything but a stick concealer, honestly, because nothing else works as well. Um, they cover up your dark circles. You can use them on spots. Um, the thing about it is, when you're using a concealer on your dark circles, you typically want to go with a lighter shade than your skin tone because that's what what um, you know, adding that lightness is what kind of makes the skin in that area appear to even out instead of having that big dip where that darkness hides, uh, that brightness and the lightness kind of makes the skin seem more even and it seems sort of fills in where that dip is. And so when you are covering dark circles, it makes sense to use a lighter concealer. But for just about everything else, really for everything else, I can't think of anything else that I would want to necessarily go brighter for. Um, you really need to match your skin tone exactly and I think that's where some people go wrong especially when they're trying stick concealers um, is that they use the wrong color and so it kind of stands out or doesn't blend as well or um, they just you know they're they're kind of put off by it and, and not everybody needs a lot of coverage for um, a lot of different reasons you know it's if you're the kind of person who just uses a tint and moisturizer, then you probably don't need concealers really at all for the most part, um, because you know you're either lucky that you don't have things on your face that you need to worry about or cover up or even out, um, which is why you know the tint and moisturizer is all you need, or you just don't care enough to be worried about those things, and so you just you know, use a tinted moisturizer, it's easy. You don't have to think about it too much. There's, you don't have to worry so much about shade selection and all that kind of thing. Um, so it just kind of depends on where you're coming from. But for me, the only reason I use concealer really on my face is um, to cover up age spots. And I mean, I have a few other things that I cover up, but they're just kind of a part of me and there's nothing I can really do about them. Like I have a capillary that has grown to the surface it's you know a little red dot and I cover that up sometimes and um but for me the thing that really aggravates me is that I have sunspots or age spots here on the side of my face I don't know if you I mean I'm sure you can see them and that is from sun damage it's from tanning when I was young it's from being outside all the time when I was young and not using sunscreen or even using sunscreen but just being outside so much that it still does damage <clears throat> and that is really my the thing on my face that uh, bothers me it's not something I feel insecure about it's you know it's it is what it is but it's something that if I'm trying to create a flawless face on my face that is you know the bane of my existence that is the reason that I have to make a flawless face I don't, I don't, I do get redness, and you guys know that I react to food. I have problems with foods and things, and it makes my face red, and it can cause blisters on my skin and things like that. Um, but for the most part, just regular redness that you might have, like on your cheeks or on your nose, I don't really care about that, so I wouldn't really mess around with that. It's just the age spots. And regular liquid concealers are just not going to cover those, plain and simple. So I just decided... I need to go out and start using 
concealer sticks again just because that's what I like. And I can still experiment with some other ones, but I need to use these. So the hard part is finding one that matches your skin tone exactly. And I need to start experimenting with the different concealer sticks that are out there now and playing around with the color ranges that are out there now to start to find what are good matches for me because I haven't used them in so long um, on myself that, you know, I, I, not only am I not as familiar with how they perform because they're all new from anything that I have used before, but I'm not familiar with how the colors, um, the saturation of the colors, whether they're um, reflective or not, whether they uh, have long, you know, are long wearing or not, whether they adhere to the skin so that when you put um, other things over them, you're not just wiping them right back off, that kind of thing. So, long story longer, I'm going to start to play around with some of these. And so, this one is a little bit too dark for me right now. Um, and it kind of has a little bit of a sort of a grayish cast to it. Um, but the other one that I was looking at was a Revlon, not a Revlon, it was a Rimmel. And that one was a better match for my skin tone right off the bat. I know that it was, but it its description was listed as, um, like, I forget the exact wording, but it was, it didn't say sheer coverage, but it was like a softer coverage. And this one just flat out says covers completely. I don't want a softer coverage. I want these covered up completely. And then I want to blend the concealer into the, the surrounding skin. And so the Rimmel one also was kind of shiny. This one, it kind of has a dullness to it. And I, you know, there, like I said, there's kind of a grayish cast to it. The Rimmel one was kind of shiny. Um, and the thing about that is, is something that is a little bit shiny, now just because it's shiny in the tube doesn't mean it will apply that way, but, you know, I made my best decision based on what I could tell through the package at the time. I probably will try the Rimmel one at some point. Um, so anyway, shiny is fine. You know, it's good for your dark circles because you want that reflective quality in those deeper areas. But I don't want to draw attention to the age spots once I've covered them. I don't want to have four spots on my face that are kind of shining in an odd way. <laughs> so that is ultimately the reason that I decided to use this one. First. And the next thing I bought is um, I'm almost out of my uh, daily moisturizer that I use in the morning after I get out of the shower for my face. And um, I'm, I'm specific about the face care in the morning, I like to use something that has an SPF if I can. I have tried products in the past um, just to experiment with products that didn't have SPF, but I, I do prefer to use SPF. Even though when you have SPF that's 15, 20, 25, um, you, know, you know that SPF has to be reapplied throughout the day. So by the time I have, you know, I put this on out of my shower, by the time I've put on my makeup and done my hair and gotten dressed, I would need to reapply it anyway. It's already probably no longer effective, but it just gives me a little bit of peace of mind knowing that I put it on at least once. And then uh, as the day goes by, if I'm out in the sun or in my car for an extended period of time, I know that I need to re reapply some more. So anyway, um, because I'm just about out of the moisturizer that I'm using, which is the Solutions Winter, uh, daily moisturizer, daytime moisturizer from Avon, I decided to use the rest of my coupon towards um, a moisturizer that I could try. So I picked up the Be Fine Food Skin Care Daily Moisturizer with SPF 15 with rosemary, pomegranate, and rice. It says it hydrates and protects skin from free radical damage. And um, this was on clearance for $10, so... Um, I obviously did not spend that much on it because I, I ordered some things from my website, so I'm going to show you those last. Now, these next things I'm going to show you, anytime that you see something that I say that I ordered from my website, if you're interested in purchasing, purchasing those products, um, I'm not here really to sell you guys things, but I do appreciate that if you see something that I have talked about and you decide you're going to purchase it, if you would purchase it from my website, that is how I pay my bills and I keep food on the table. Um, and so 
you know, if, if you don't already have, I'm not saying leave your representative and use me if you already have a representative, but if you don't have a representative um, and you are going to order the products, if you would order them from my web website and not from the regular Avon website, I would appreciate that. Just because I, you know, I, I do work really hard to try to bring you guys this information and um, like I said, this is how I uh, pay my bills is by selling those products. And so, um, if you guys, you know, it's just a nice way to, to return the favor to me for having kind of introduced you to the products. So, if you wouldn't mind doing that, I would appreciate it. Kind of seems like a no-brainer, but I think sometimes you have to tell people sometimes. Anyway, <laughs> so I picked up a couple products from my own website to try. Now, the first thing is that... Um, Avon is coming out with um, hair color, like actual hair dye, professional hair color. And so they gave all of the representatives a free box if they wanted one so that we can, you know, try it. Um, and so I did order the free box, um, and this is the color that I chose. It's 9.0, it's light blonde, and it's the Avon Advanced Techniques Professional Hair Color. Um, there's two shades of blonde, I believe two shades of blonde, even lighter than this. Um, I have colored my hair blonde before, and uh, I liked it, um, and I went probably blonder than this before. Um, I've used, I think, two different kinds, um, and I stayed blonde for probably about a year, maybe a little longer, um, and then I just let it grow out. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to use this yet or not. I mean, I went ahead and took the free... Uh, box and chose the color that I would most likely uh, color my hair at this point. But I don't know if I'm going to use it because I'm just, I, I really do like my red hair. And you guys, if if you know me, you've been following that I've been trying to get my hair healthy. Um, I had the Herbal Essence shampoo fiasco where it just totally stripped my hair and my hair was breaking and it was made it so dry. And I was having a really hard time getting my hair to grow. And it's finally starting to, like, grow. It's, you know, it's healing and it's getting healthier and so it's not breaking off as easily and it's finally um, starting to grow again. And my hair grows really fast, actually, so the fact that I was having that much trouble is, is a big deal. <laughs> but I've finally gotten it, you know, kind of healthier again and so I'm finally starting to, to get some length. If, if you guys remember at Christmas, you know, it was about to hear ish so you know I'm starting to get about an inch or more a month which is that's normal for me so I'm finally getting back to normal so I don't know if I'm gonna use this but if I do use it this is the color that I will go for they have a really good range and really good color selection so if you're buying box color anyway um, this is a really easy and convenient you know way to do it just order it online you know, once a month and it, have it shipped to your door and you don't have to do anything. So, <clears throat> there's that. And then the next thing I purchased is one of the Avon True Color eyeshadow quads. And this is actually a limited edition palette. So if you like this palette, there are two limited edition palettes, four limited edition lipsticks, and four limited edition nail polishes that are kind of in this, this color selection for spring. Um, this one is called Smoke and Mirrors, and I will show it to you. Because it is limited edition, it does have the um, kind of colored package on the front, which normally th these are just black. And um, it has a really big mirror, and it does come with, a, with an applicator that has a rounded in and a pointed in. Um, and then it has these four colors. Let me block the light so you can get the color intensity a little better. So this is kind of just like, um, it's kind of an, a white. This is kind of a green. Well, it is a green because they're not showing up on camera exact. This is kind of a salmon-y color. Um, kind of a mix between a, a salmon with a little bit of pink blended in. And then this is kind of a burgundy-ish shade. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch these for you, and the 
say many colors. It's probably going to be hard to see on camera because it's almost the exact color of my fingertip. <laughs> but so there's the kind of sort of off whitish color. This is the green. This is the sort of salmony pink color. And this is the kind of burgundy ish shade. A little bit of maybe purple underneath it. There you can see. Now these swatch on your hand really lightly. Um, the true, the uh, the true color palettes are they blend really well, but they are usually kind of a lighter. Um, they're a lighter application. The white one you're not gonna be able to see on my skin tone, I don't think. Let me see if I can. There we go. Maybe you can see it. Okay, so we've got, here's the white, here's the green, here's the salmon, and here is the cranberry. So, and that's just with me swatching what was on my fingers. So, the thing about these is, um, if you, you know, if you like makeup, but you're not like a go crazy with your makeup kind of person, if you are, um, you know, you just like your soft, pretty makeup, you don't want anything to stand out too much, this is like the perfect PTA mom type makeup. That is that is who these quads are for because it will give you just the exact amount of color payoff that you really need um, for just normal everyday wear for the average woman who is not trying to make a statement with her makeup. So often I see all of these girls who are going, they're spending a lot of money um, a lot of times, but they're buying these palettes and they're always worried about how intensely pigmented something is. But they don't, uh, there's no reason for them to really do that because the way that they apply their makeup does not require intense pigmentation. Um, they spend all of their time removing the product from the brush, you know, for the most part before they apply it. And um, so this, this eliminates the worry of that because these are going to go on exactly the way you need them to go on to go out the door and be seen in public and go through your normal everyday, you know, work day with just a beautiful uh, makeup look that you really didn't have to think about, okay? So that's who these are for. And the last thing that I got uh, from my website, this is called um, the Knot Front Tank Dress. Knot, like K-N-O-T, like you tie a knot in something. And so it's a tank dress, so it's um, tank style on top, but it's got the wide straps so that it will cover, you know, it's going to cover your bra straps. And you can see already in the back there's a keyhole, you know, kind of a little peekaboo, but it's high enough that your your bra is not going to show through the back. You can see you've got a lot of back. And so it's this kind of pink color on top, this light pink color on top, and it changes to this. Now it's looking kind of fuchsia-y on camera. It's not. It's got a little bit more of a burgundy-ish, um, like a deeper red undertone to it. But you can see here that built in you can see here that built into the dress on the front is this ruching that goes at the waist so it cinches in your waist and then this little knot kind of comes down and flows and kind of hangs sort of drapes and blends in towards the bottom of the dress and what's great about that is that this little because of how this um, this little part here kind of lays and and ruches and creates some dynamic you can see that that there's kind of some waves that it creates before it blends in. Um, the way that that happens, it covers up any kind of tummy issues you might want to um, hide. And then because there is this band here that runs across the waist, that kind of hits right under the bust line. So it cinches in your waist at the tiniest part and then you have that kind of thing that drapes and loosely hides any kind of tummy troubles. Um, and then you've got just the pretty brighter pink color here on top, which draws, obviously draws the eyes up and away from our 
big butts and thighs and hips and bellies and all the other stuff that we're always trying to um, hide and we don't want people to pay attention to. So um, there's also a little button detail at the top of this, the little keyhole in the back. And this is really, it's such a soft material, I wish you guys could feel it. It just, this just is going to hang and flow over the body kind of with no troubles whatsoever. So if you're interested in that dress, there, uh, we have all sizes of it from small all the way up through plus sizes. So, um, again, the link is down in the information bar. If you would like to take a look at that, the link for my website is down there. And so that's it for this haul. So, um, if you guys have any questions about any of your products, as always, let me know. And, uh, don't forget to click the thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe subscribe wherever it is now um, and don't forget to comment I love to hear from you guys and my website is in the information box I have a blog in the information box if you're on Lux I have my blog link on Lux in the information box if you would like to join um, hot look oat look hot look <laughs> whichever way you pronounce it since nobody pronounces it the same uh, there's a link to connect in the information box uh, my Twitter is in the information box and probably some other stuff in there too <laughs> so um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you're enjoying the nice weather and I will see you next time bye